Whither away, my bonny may, say late and say far, in the gloaming, the mist gathers grey, our moorland and bray, oh, whither say far are you roaming? Now that song is about somebody being far away from home, and they're travelling back to get to their place where their wife is, and it's a very sad song. But it's also got a very strong message that no matter where you go in the world, your heart's always back in Scotland. I'm Alan Gregory, and I'm from Eldersley, um, near Johnston. Johnston's a very small town, and that's kind of nice because you generally know, if not everybody, then a lot of people. Being proud of being Scottish is something that you get when you're growing up. It's almost genetic. My parents, we're proud to be Scottish, my grandparents are proud to be Scottish. And that rubs off when you're growing up. One of my favourite films had to be Mary Poppins. I always see myself as Dick Van Dyke leaping across roofs, <laughs> singing Chim Chimney, Chim Chimney. It was really quite a memory. And for me, going to Disney, that's quite something special to be part of that in a small way. So I'm going to be manning an exhibition about Scotland at the Millennium Village. Very, very exciting project. And this week has all about been training for not just about Scotland's past, but about the future and where we fit into it. The cast members we've got are absolutely fantastic, and I know the guests are going to love them. Um, they all bring a little bit of Scotland with them. We're from Scotland, and we've just toured Stirling Castle. What are we going to do next? We're going to Walt Disney World! Plan to visit us at the Millennium Village in Epcot for a 15-month celebration that's out of this world. Scotland takes a unique view of things in the world, and that unique view shapes us as a people. It's forced Scottish people to go and travel out into the world with great inventions, with great explorers, discoveries. We are the people that have travelled the most in every country in the world, somewhere in their history. There's a Scotsman that shaped part of their history. I think, although those stereotypes have a grain of truth somewhere, we do wear kilts, we do like to sing, and we do make brilliant shortbread. There's an awful lot more to Scotland than that. Welcome to Glenkinchy Distillery in Penkaitland, Scotland. Those individuals have a huge responsibility because if you like, at the end of the day, they are Disney cast members. What we have in Scotland as Scottish ambassadors. They need to be able to be knowledgeable on all the facets of the country. Single note. But when you come to nose them, you will find you'll get something called nose prickle, and that's where your nose really reacts to it. And I think the whole rationale for us, if you like, as Scotland doing this exhibit was to, was to support people was to surprise the American audience and to surprise those guests that go through Disney. Um, of Scotland is much more than I expected. We'll start at the lower level, which has the, the history, the earliest history of Scotland, and we will work our way up through the entire building. So you'll get a taste from the earliest up to the very modern. Um, you, could, you could literally list dozens and dozens of inventors, everything from um, the telephone to the, the pneumatic tyre to tarmacadam roads, raincoats, life jackets. Uh, it, the list is endless. Um, and so many important discoveries in science and medicine. Even now, we're, we're at the forefront of cancer research. So Scotland has not just invented things in the past, but it's continuing and will continue to invent things just the way we are. Welcome to Edinburgh on a beautiful sunny day. Behind me, Holyrood Palace, the Queen's official residence in Scotland. Over here, just to the other side of us, is a building site for the Scottish Parliament. The Scottish Parliament, of course, was suspended in 1707. We voted for it and we've got it back again. But the new building won't be ready for at least another year. And I am told it's going to be pretty spectacular, so you must come and visit it. Castles are a very complex subject. Not only do they look magnificent, but when you actually visit them and you walk inside them, you get a real sense of history. A castle didn't just appear overnight. It was built up over many, many centuries. 
and obviously all the events of those centuries are ingrained in the very walls of a castle. I think being Scottish, you've always got that interest anyway, but when you come and you see something on your doorstep and you just sort of get the goosebumps on the back of your hand and you say, oh, this is really an impressive place to live. When it's so connected to Mary Queen of Scots and uh, so, so many important historical figures directly, then I think you get an awful feeling that something important happened here. You can just imagine their conversations. You know, Mary talking to Charles and saying, you know, what are we going to do about all those Protestant people? Or, you can just imagine the feelings and the atmosphere that that generates. It's a wonderful it's a castle. And this is Henry, King of Scots, and that was Lord Darnley on the opposite wall. Sadly, we've only got the top part of it again in 1633, and over the years, we didn't always have glass. National identity is probably crucial um, for a very simple reason. As the world economy becomes more global, and our neighbours are literally just seconds away on the internet, we we're able to reach out to countries that much more. And because you can reach out to people so easily, um, your national identity can get a little lost. So it's important that you retain something for yourself. The castles won't wash away, and the meaning of them won't wash away. So yes, we'll change. Yes, we will adapt. We're a very modern thinking people. We'll look at the, the past to see that's true. But we'll always retain what Scotland really is. And that's something that I feel I'm going to really take with me to Disney. When I'm in Florida and I'm talking to all these thousands of guests and they're going to say to me, what is Scotland like? Well, that's what I'm going to say. Passion that's inbuilt in you. The pride that you're brought up with. It's a pride that you can never um, get away from. And I want that passion and that feeling to come through to them. Because, lo and behold, if they can go away with that little message that I'm proud of where I'm from, then I'll have done my job and I'll be happy to do that.